Hello, and welcome to another episode of Walden's Wonderful Histories. Today I am pleased to share a brief history of a monument located in the center of my hometown, Enterprise, Alabama. When traveling through the small town of Enterprise, Alabama, one may think this is similar to all other small towns in America. Friday night football games, a church on every corner, local bake sales. That is until you hit Main Street. And then there is a site like no other. A monument dedicated to an insect. A pesky insect at that. Enterprise, Alabama is a small, diverse community of about 25,000 residents today. But about a century ago, the majority of people who lived in Enterprise were cotton farmers. The turn of the, in the turn of the century, America had experienced many events, from the Wright brothers' first flight making headlines to the women's movement. But none of these affected this small farming community quite like a tiny visitor from South America. You see, cotton was king in the South and this tiny visitor had an appetite for cotton, a huge appetite for cotton. The boll weevil migrated from Mexico to Texas in the early 1900s and then to other southern states by the end of the first decade. The boll weevil actually gets its name from drilling holes with its snout into cotton bowls. Once the hole is drilled, the boll weevil lays eggs, which causes the fruit to turn yellow and fall off the plant. In 1915, the boll weevil let its presence be known in the small enterprise community by destroying about 60% of the cotton crop. Because of this, cotton was no longer king in the South and the locals need a, uh, needed a solution for this pest. With the community facing an economic crisis due to the tiny pest destruction, the combined efforts of se several local businessmen, including Mr. H. M. Sessions, persuaded one local farmer hit by the tenacious insect to plant peanuts in 1916. Mr. Sessions and Mr. Baston struck up a deal. Mr. Sessions agreed to supply farmer C.W. Baston with the peanuts to plant, a picker, and one dollar per bushel in return for crop that year, and Mr. Baston agreed. Mr. Baston had a successful crop that year of peanuts. He was able to pay off all debts he'd accrued from the devastating cotton crop and still turn a profit with his peanuts. Mr. Baston's peanut crop was used to supply other local farmers the next year with seed for their new peanut farms. This tiny little pest forced the farmers to change and diversify their crops in the South. In 1917, Enterprise and the surrounding county was producing and harvesting more peanuts than any other county in the United States. Mr. Sessions' small farm furnishing business had grown into, has grown into Sessions Company, which ships and shells peanuts, produces crude peanut oil, and other peanut products throughout the United States and other countries, and is a major employer within the community today. In 1919, another businessman decided to pay his respects to the pesky insect by declaring the boll weevil a hero to this small southeast Alabama town. He commissioned a monument to be erected in the center of town, which was dedicated December 11, 1919, with the inscription at the base that reads, In profound appreciation of the boll weevil, and what it has done as the herald of prosperity, this monument was erected by the citizens of Enterprise, Coffee County, Alabama. Today this may seem like an odd, odd monument celebrating the life of a pest, but it, what, if it wasn't for the boll weevil, Enterprise could have vanished like so many other small farming communities of the 20th century.